in the words of DJ Khaled, another one. Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. And in today's episode we have got a review of this, the Empow soundbar. Um, this thing retails for about £50 on Amazon, but is it any good? Let's go ahead and take a look. Along the front of the device you have a large metal grill which provides a lovely ambient sound. Along the top you've got five buttons and a proper dial for your volume. Along the back you've got USB, 3.5mm and a USB charging. So that's that physical dial I was talking about again and I love this physical dial. It feels so good to be able to just turn and have much more adjustment in your terms of your quality. This is of course Bluetooth, so just turning it on and connecting it is super duper simple. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just stay quiet with my voiceover for a minute and let the music do the talking. And finally, along the bottom, you do have two rubber feet just to keep everything in place. So I guess one of my first impressions of this thing was just how small it was. I mean, this thing is nice and compact. It can be thrown in a bag, taken to a party or whatever, and you're not really gonna like, notice it. Um, and with that, I really didn't think the sound would be that great. Something this small probably doesn't pack that much of a punch, but I was wrong. And as you probably heard from the little sound test that I did just a second ago, this thing gets loud and bassy. Like, it made my table rumble at full pelt. For such a small device, it really does pack a bassy punch. But it also sounds pretty good for its mids and its highs. So for actually quite a small soundbar, this thing sounds incredible. And obviously that dial, as I mentioned, I love it. A physical dial should be on every device for audio. Because clicking up and down, it's not... You don't get as much control. This thing is obviously very, very small, and on the back you've got all your different inputs. This thing can be used for your TV, it can be used for your computer, for your phone, or whatever you want to use it for. It's fairly cheap here, it's around £50 on Amazon, which I would say for a soundbar of this quality, and sound quality and build quality, it's plastic, but it is hefty. Like, if you drop this thing, it probably wouldn't break. I'm not going to try it, but I feel like it wouldn't. Uh, there is no waterproof on the uh, waterproofing on this at all, unfortunately. So you can't take this to a pool party, and it can't really be used outside if it's kind of wet. If it's a nice sunny day like it is today, take it out for a picnic and you'll be fine. Uh, and you can obviously take calls on it. I don't know why you would. I, I really don't know why they bother putting audio um, like microphones and a call button on here because if you're using this for a call, what are you doing? Like. You don't want to be using this, of course, but it, the feature is there if you really want to. Anyway, guys, my name has been Robert, and this has been a very short review because you can't really say much about soundbars. But anyway, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll catch you in my next one. Adios.